Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alexson and welcome back everybody to the Crafting Dead. Uh, today we're back with episode 47 and we are still on Covina server number one. So I've read your comments and you guys have been all saying, you know, you like it so far. You like seeing the server episodes being uploaded more often. You guys have been just destroying the like goal. It's been awesome seeing that. You guys have just been so, you know, active on this series of the Crafting Dead on the server and you guys are just so awesome. I just want to thank you for that. I really do. Uh, so Andrew actually so kindly hooked me up with a rank on here uh, at the moment. So I do have a certain amount of kits um, and I have the rank, what is it, Soul Catcher at the moment. So uh, thank you to Andrew, shout out to him. He's the person who basically created the Crafting Dead. Uh, so I'm pretty hyped about that. Uh, without further ado, last episode was pretty intense. We actually found the RBI cure and we got ourselves healed. Um, so I did some more looting around and I kind of just kept walking and we're pretty much left off. Uh, now we're just pretty much on the road again. So uh, pretty lucky last episode finding that RBI cure. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, and if you guys could all hit that like button, if we can go for around 100 to 200 likes, that'd be awesome. I am pushing it now because I know you guys can do it and I know that you guys are really Crafting Dead fans. And with that being said, I think there's no issue um, of us re reaching 100 goals consistently um, and even surpassing that to even possibly 200, which would be outstanding and shocking and just really motivational and I know we can do it. So if you guys can all hit the like button right about now, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, so if you guys all did it, high five to you guys. If you're doing it now, then a high five to you as well. So sadly, we just got affected. I was just going to say that, but I was in the middle of talking, which is not a big deal. We kind of know how to kind of work through this. It's not a big deal. So um, I want to kind of talk to you guys today um, personally about the crafting dead on my channel um, because it's such a big thing. And a lot of you guys um, were pretty much questioning Fear the Crafting Dead and why it's been such a long time. I did talk about it slightly in the last episode. Uh, ooh, ooh, this is a big city. We haven't checked this area out at all. So that's okay. That means we could probably find a cure somewhere around here. Uh, so pretty much Fear the Crafting Dead is going to be postponed until it's kind of like a go again. Uh, right now it's postponed because it's just we're not there yet to the point where we can really have the time for it. So I don't want to rush things and make... Uh, you know poor quality episodes I'd rather just make them really good and not rush things uh, so please understand but I could be doing something a bit different which could be a solo role play which is just me and making whoa my mouse there just I don't know if you guys saw that but my mouse just completely died on me um, but pretty much I am planning on possibly bringing a solo role play of a post-apocalyptic uh, you know scenario so you guys let me know what you guys think about that I think it could be pretty cool uh, but you know with that being said I hope that you guys understand that fear the crafting dead is going to be postponed I know it was a big hit on the channel I love doing it it was such great fun but it was during the summer which what I, which means I pretty much had more time um, and that's not the case as of right now but when I do and we, when we get things going again I'll be more than happy to possibly bring it back so we're in good shape guys hope you guys understand uh, but let's keep going. I want to talk about the server right now. Right now we're still infected, and I think we've actually seen a city like this before. Uh, so we're good. I think we can pretty much cope with all these uh, walkers around here. I don't think they're a big stress. Even though the infection thing kind of gets me a bit bugged out. I don't like it that much. It kind of really bugs me here and there, but I can't do anything about it. I just, okay, I, I thought I trapped myself. I just destroyed that walker. Like, he didn't even see that coming. Um, I pretty much walked out of there like adios and he's like what where'd he go? So yeah, we're gonna head off to that hospital and see if we can find some more resources as you guys know This is a pretty big city here. So uh, we're, we're more than sure We're gonna find ourselves a cure if anything we will be good to go And then we'll make our way out of the city because as you guys know big cities are not my favorite They're kind of just a dangerous situation for me. I don't like it unless I have people nearby um, I'm sure that I can survive the walkers, but when people have guns, it's a dangerous scenario uh, I'm just noticing that there's no loot here. I'm gonna put some blood here get ourselves some blood. Uh, we're kind of low on ah, We're okay on that definitely need some water. Let's drink up on that All right drop it off here, but what I have been noticing is there are uh, Possible like footprints around here like metaphorically speaking like this place has kind of been looted out Which kind of freaks me a bit because there could be someone just waiting for us to walk back out and probably taking our uh, Lives, so let's just stay. Let's stay sharp and let's like make our way out of here. There are there is barbed wire, so that is also convenient. Is there anything in here? Okay, so there has been someone here storing their junk. It seems like 
Uh, but there hasn't been anything here. Maybe we find a cure in here. Oh, there we go. So we found a bottle. We can't use a bottle, but we do need to find an empty syringe. If that's the case, uh, we are still in a good situation. So we did find an RBI cure bottle. Um, and after looking on the, uh, you know, pretty much the forums and all, pretty much that means we're still good. We just have to find an empty syringe and we can use that to replicate the RBI cure, which is pretty much, this is pretty good. So I don't know how many uses we can get out of this, but I'm hoping that it's a good amount um, so that we can actually have it for more backup. Uh, and we'll see how that all goes, how that all plans out. So I'm, I'm excited. Uh, anything in here? Nothing. All right, let's make our way back to the hospital as a last pit stop, and then we'll make our way out of here um, and see what else we can find. Uh, let's go back into this hospital. I'm pretty sure loot by now possibly has spawned. Looks like there are plenty of walkers still around here, so that's pretty not a pretty good sight to see right now. Uh, but what will be a pretty sight is seeing, you know, possibly an RBI cure. Uh, I mean, an empty syringe, which we did find last episode, but I don't have one with me at the current moment. So that's an issue. Uh, what is the best way to get out of here? Probably going through the doors out back. Or we can just use this one here. Is there a door here? There should be a door here. Oh no, it's on the other side. All right, we're still good. This armor is definitely keeping us alive, that's for sure. Um, all right, where could we possibly go? Oh, okay, clean rag, clean rag, blood bag. Oh, that's not a place to be right now. Back off, I'm not ready to fight you. Don't have a proper melee weapon except for a fireman's axe, which is pretty good. Um, so let's go in this building. Hey, what could this building possibly give us? Let's hope for an empty syringe, which is really all I'm looking for right now. Oh, this is a construction building. I should not be in here. This place is not going to offer us anything, so I'm out. Uh, okay, let's go into this building. Is this another construction? Yeah, it is. All right. There should be at least, come on, like, there's got to be an empty syringe in one hospital. Like, even, like, it makes, it only makes sense. It's kind of annoying that there's not, um, right now. Is that another hospital down there? Apartment building. Okay. Hospital. Vehicle down there. So that means there's a hospital nearby. Oh, this is a big hospital. I think this is the first one we looted out. Looks like someone could be in there, actually. So I'm going to make my way around here and make sure we're safe. Kind of hop on in here. What is this? blood bag we don't need it because we don't have any blood to take from anyone all right there's a walker inside there he, there was probably a walker that burned and probably died that's my guess right now but um we got to find a cure or an uh, empty syringe it kind of sucks because we kind of like in the same position as last episode but it's still interesting enough a clean rag hey there's another walker all right back off guys back off i'm not i'm not in the mood i'm already infected can't you tell I should be, there should be, a, that would be pretty cool if they can't really like, you know, attack you. A blood bag again. Why is that happening? Are we good on blood? Yeah, I don't need it. Oh, hey man. Hey man, how's it going? All right. Are you friendly? All right, how's it going, man? I don't know if this guy's friendly. He seems like he's all cool and stuff, but uh, I feel like he could have an empty syringe. Sorry, man. I had to, my friend. Uh, oh, he did have an empty syringe. Oh, okay, see, he went to, yo, if, you're, if, if this guy's watching this video, you have just saved me. You sacrificed your life. I'm sorry, but we are... Oh, that was such a good call. That was such a good call. I feel proud. I feel so proud. Oh, so it actually just... It's one bottle. All right, cool. So now we're getting out of this freaking city. Goodbye, city. Sorry, awesome dude that just saved my life. You know, he had some good stuff on him. All right, we're, we're, just, we're just out of the city. I don't want to be in here anymore. Just too many walkers for us to call. And, oh, I'm just super psyched. What is this all about here? Is this like... This can't be a crate. This is probably just like a, a, a failed attempt at a uh, kind of like a, a wall. Um, maybe when everything went down, people couldn't protect it, so they pretty much died after trying to build up a wall. I am going to let these walkers not chase me right now. After what we've just been through, ooh, I mean, it was actually more problematic now because I actually had just an RBI cure bottle and I had to actually find an empty syringe. So we did more in one episode than like the last two episodes. Um, with all this crazy things happening. Why am I still near the city? I am not liking it here. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm going away from this place because I always seem to get either crowded by walkers. In this case, that person that we just killed, if you are watching this, let me know because you, uh, sadly had to die, but you had an empty syringe. So it was a 50, 50 call. Like I could have been called a murderer in this case, but it, it, it was, you know, it was the right thing to do for me to survive. Um, and it's a post-apocalyptic world. Rick Grimes has done some nasty things as well in the Walking Dead AMC TV series. 
So yeah, like I'm not the only one here. <laughs> so let's see what is in here. Let's see what what is here. Uh, dirty rag. How many dirty rags do we have? Okay, we have clean rags actually. That is good. Um, because I kind of want to, you know, kind of settle down. We kind of don't have an area to kind of call home at the moment. So I don't know. You guys, let me know what you guys think. Maybe we can find an area to kind of settle down. The last area we're in was um in the last episode towards the end was a military base that was kind of surrounded with a gate. Now there was two openings, but it is still a pretty good idea to maybe head back in that same direction and maybe fortify that place a bit more. Um, it could be a really cool place to like kind of hold off. Is there a walker follow me? All right, there's only one, not like 20. If there was 20, then we would be in trouble. But for this case right now, I think we're pretty good. I think we're in good shape. Um, I'm pretty happy right now. I I'm just really excited that we got ourselves out of that infection phase, which was horrible because it just, it really bugs me. It's not a fun time. You gotta have to like focus on finding a cure, going through cities, scavenging and finding all these resources just to get yourself uninfected, which is for now actually. It says we're, we're not infected as of right now, but I don't know what that means. We'll have to find out, uh, but at least we got out of it and it's pretty cool. I don't mind having the uh, cure, the RBI cure added to this. It's pretty cool. Um, but I think that sometimes it gets a, a bit annoying, but hey, look at this guys as I was talking about that military base We just got right in front of it. So we're pretty much at the doors of it. Hey, okay, hold up This place is not that place, but it is a much cooler looking base Okay, all right, let's do dash near. There's no one nearby. Oh, this is a helicopter area This place can be such a perfect area to hold off by putting barbed wire all around here Oh my goodness, this is actually really good. This is really good for us right now. So, this is better than that last place uh, being... Oh, don't break my legs. That would have been a sad sight to see right there. Military gear here. Okay, we got a crossbow. Cross... What is it? Yeah, it's a crossbow. It's a crossbow. I'm not going crazy. Yeah, it's a crossbow. And that is awesome. Hopefully, we can find some cross bolts, which is what I meant to say at first. Uh, so, that would be a good thing. This place is nice. I'm liking this. There are plenty of walkers here, but, uh, okay, I'm gonna take him out with my fireman's axe. Because, actually, I gotta be careful. I don't want to get infected once more. We're gonna reload this guy. Okay, there we go. And let's just take him out. This is probably the safest way, trying not to get infected. As you know, my story with infection is pretty, pretty high up there, um, for bad luck. So, hey, there's another walker. Hello, buddy. Don't get me infected. I do not want to be infected again. Don't want to go near those cities. Uh, but this place is pretty cool. I think I would like to have this place as a home and kind of barbed wire the heck out of it. Like pretty much here from the top here, like each four doors, get enough barbed wire to pretty much block out the walkers and block out any danger, uh, that could be around here. And it's a pretty good area. I mean, there's military, military loot spawning around. I thought at first there was actual vehicles here. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, that's not safe. That was really dangerous. Um, so before I actually did... Oh, there's some trucks down there. I was more than certain that there were like actual military vehicles parked around here when I first played on this map. Like the first... That was a while ago though. Um, but still, this is actually a pretty good area to hold off and uh, pretty much hold off for this episode. End it off over here maybe. And then we'll pretty much get back to it um, and see what we can find. Let me see if any kits have barbed wire. Like, I would doubt it, but dash kit assassin, maybe? Uh, what do we got here? No barbed wire. I know I'm just testing them out, but I'm just looking for barbed wire. Maybe there's a shop that we can actually buy some barbed wire. Um, but, yeah, I mean, oh, this is actually some good stuff anyways from this kit. So, don't mind if I will take some. Don't mind if I do. Uh, so, there we go. That's that. I mean, we got plenty of stuff here. For food, we got food for days. Let's open up our backpack. Let's just store some of this in here because I don't really need all of it. And, you know, some of it could be just, you know, saved up for backup for emergencies. So there we go. Sweet. We got everything ready to go, guys. We are looking sharp. We're looking dangerous. Um, and I think we've done much better in this episode as for finding a cure and kind of finding an area to pretty much settle down in future episodes and kind of really get ourselves on our feet after all, we've been, you know, kind of walking around this 
this world for quite some time now. So we kind of have our, an idea of how we want to survive, and I think it's going to be pretty cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of The Crafting Dead on Covina. If you guys haven't already hit that like button, make sure you guys do so in the comment sections as well. Let me know about what you guys think about today's episode, and uh, subscribe if you guys are not already. We're at 14,700. Uh, 14, uh, 14, um, which is absolutely mind-blowing. So thank you guys again for that. I appreciate your support. Um, and without further ado, hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Alex, and peace out.